there is a link above now about the OBD2 port location on your Renault Kajar. Hello everyone, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel and today it's the Renault Kajar. The fuse box locations. Now there are actually three fuse boxes on the Renault Kajar and I'll show you where each of these are. Ooh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Okay, so the first fuse box, you need to open the driver's door and it's just on the right hand side here on the pillar. And it's just behind here. So what you do is just pull that clip down at the top. It's quite difficult if you've got sausage fingers like me, just pull it down and pull it outwards. And there is the first fuse box. Now these are mini fuses, so they're not very big and you do not get a fuse removal tool in this bunch, but you do get it in the second fuse box that I will show you shortly. So there are my sausage fingers there. And as you can see, it's pretty hard to access. So let's put the cover back on and then I'll show you the second fuse box. And there's a link above now about the battery location and how to check the battery on your Renault Kajar. Okay, so go around to the passenger side of the Renault, open the passenger door and then open the glove box. And the second fuse box is behind here. So this panel just pulls out towards you. Now this might be quite stiff if you've never opened it before. And there we go. And on the back of the panel, you've just got a list of what the fuses are. Now these again are mini fuses and that is the fuse removal tool there. So what you need to do is you just need to pull that out and then you can use that to retrieve any fuses. But as I said with the other one, the access in here is very poor and I've got reasonable sized hands and it's very tricky to get in here. So that is the fuse removal tool there. So what you do is you just push that over one of the fuses that you want to test. And as you push it on, it grips it and then you just pull it and it pulls it out. But a much easier way of testing the fuses without having to remove them is using a multimeter. And there's a link above now about how to do that. And I definitely recommend that you do that instead of pulling them all out. As I said before, the access is very poor. So there you go, I've removed this 20 amp mini fuse here. I'm just gonna lay it on the seat. Now, as you can see, this fuse is in perfect condition. So we can just put that one back in. So to put it back in, I'm just gonna use a pair of long nose pliers to push this back in. Once you've got it slightly in, then you can use your finger just to push it all the way in. And you should hear a nice little click as it snaps inside. And then don't forget to put the fuse removal tool back in. Again, even this is quite difficult with my sausage fingers and hands. Now the most worrying thing about this is if you remove one of these fuses or put one of them back in, if you drop it, it just is going to disappear down the back of the dashboard somewhere. And good luck trying to remove these ones down here along the bottom because they're actually behind the panel. No idea how you'd get those out. So anyway, let's close that back up. So just push those clips back in. And then I'll get on to showing you the third and final fuse box. So close the glove box. So what you need to do is open the bonnet and there's a link above now about how to do that. And you need to remove this cover here. And you need to remove this air intake as well, just to get access to the fuse box. So just squeeze those clips in, pull that clip out towards you and then slide it skywards. So slide it upwards. And that is the first part removed. So just lay that on the engine. Then we just need to remove this cover here. There's four clips, two on this side and two on the other side. Don't worry about removing the whole thing just yet. Just make sure it's loose because we've got to remove the rest of that air intake pipe just to give us better access. So that is now loose. 
there we go so that's ready to be removed now we just need to remove this air intake pipe here and you'll need a 10 millimeter spanner socket let's just undo that anti-clockwise i'm just going to speed this up now we're not actually removing this whole thing we're just removing the bolt just to allow us to wiggle this about and give us better access to the actual fuse box now i'm just going to remove this lid here because otherwise the actual fuse box lid that we're going to remove catches on there now underneath this lid you've got the heavy duty fuses which you should never have to worry about they shouldn't ever blow and these are really just for the manufacturers so if you get a problem in here you really need to take this to a Renault authorized dealer this is designed really so the layman cannot get access to it it's very difficult so just move that lid out of the way and the actual third fuse box is here and we've got three clips holding this in we've got two on this side here to so just squeeze those in and slightly lift and then there's one more just at the back here there we go and then we can just lift that up and out and this is where the rest of the fuses are so this is the third fuse box and as i said earlier and there was a link above earlier and i'll put it in the pinned comments you can test those fuses using a multimeter without having to remove them okay so let's put everything back now i'm just going to speed this all up apart from the final bit because there's a little bit of fiddling about you have to do with the final air intake hose so let's put this bolt back now this is the bit that's slightly tricky now on the left hand side at the back here you've got some grooves you've got a sliding groove on the side there and you've also got a groove at the bottom so you're actually sliding it onto that groove and then pushing it downwards and you're making sure that it hits that groove at the bottom there and it tucks in nice and tightly so just get it lined up and then carry on pushing down and it should just click into place there and then if you've got it right then you've just got those two clips on the hose just further back here and they've automatically just clipped in and there is a link above now about how to tell which side your fuel filler cap is on if you drive a lot of vehicles like me it's actually a really good tip so good luck with any fuses that you have to remove or replace and now it's time for a lovely cup of tea if you found that Renault Kajar video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, guys and girls. And if you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab.